Shameless, shameless, protesters were chanting on Tehran's streets overnight as anger that had been directed against America turned into protests against the regime itself. In their rush to contain the fallout, the Iranians have plunged into a diplomatic spat with the UK, first briefly arresting our ambassador in Tehran and now summoning him to the foreign ministry to explain what they call his illegal presence at an anti-government protest. Here, ministers urged Iran to come back from the brink. I think it was uh, the wrong thing for them to do. It's against a whole range of things, including the Vienna Convention. Uh, Iran is at a crossroads. They've got decisions to make. We want to see them make the right decisions, come back into the diplomatic international fold and see that whole situation de-escalate. The ambassador, Rob McCare, was attending a vigil for the victims of the downed Ukrainian passenger jet, but says he left as soon as shouting started. He was arrested half an hour later. Iran's deputy foreign minister contradicted his account in a tweet. He wasn't detained but arrested as an unknown foreigner in an illegal gathering. When police informed me a man's arrested who claims to be UK ambassador, I said impossible. Only after my phone conversation with him, I identified out of big surprise that it's him. Fifteen minutes later, he was free. The idea that the British ambassador has been inciting the crowds in Tehran is clearly nonsense. He went to a vigil because the people of Tehran were understandably distressed at the fact that so many, 174, is it, innocent lives have been lost because of a mistake. France and Germany have joined the UK in condemning the arrest of Britain's ambassador. But in a joint statement tonight, they have also reaffirmed their commitment to the Iran nuclear deal designed to prevent Tehran developing a nuclear weapon. A clear refusal to bow to American pressure to abandon it. Today in Iran, there were these counter-protests outside the British embassy, chanting the British spy must be expelled. Regime supporters burnt the British and Israeli flags. Despite such shows of loyalty, Iran's leaders are facing enormous pressure at home and abroad. Europe wants to offer them a way back from the edge, but that will require American cooperation too. Romilly Weeks, ITV News.